Okay guys, so in this Piggy video, we're gonna be going over the top 10 plot holes in Roblox Piggy, or basically the top 10 points in the story that have just not been explained or seemingly forgotten about by Minitune. Maybe he messed up, maybe he forgot about it, maybe he just hasn't answered these questions yet, but we're gonna go over 10 of them. And honestly, Minitune's actually pretty good about all this, so there's not actually that many. Actually, there is only about 10 of them, but maybe there is something that Minitune forgot about or missed, and hopefully this video can remind him that some of these things definitely need answers too. Also, a huge shout out to the British piggy guy for inspiration for this. I thought this might be kind of fun to do. All right, so let's start off with number one, book one, chapter one. The very first thing that happens in the story is, well, we get attacked by a piggy. Now, of course, if you've kept up with the piggy storyline, if you've played piggy, you know that if you get attacked by a piggy, you get infected and then turn into a piggy a few hours later. Well, it has been months. It has been possibly years since book one, chapter one happened, and the player is still not infected. In fact, he didn't turn at all, he or she. The player is fine, no, no mention of this ever again. Nothing has come from it. What, what, what's going on here? Is this something that Minitune forgot about? Did he make a mistake here? And let's move on. Okay, pause the video real quick because I want to announce that my summer merch collection, the Creek Craft Summer Merch Collection, is going to be launching today at 12 p.m. EST. It's going to be available for about two weeks and it has some really awesome items in it. We've got the Creek Craft Summer T-shirt. We've got the Creek Craft stickers, the Creek Craft Glow in the Dark tote bag, and of course, the Creek Craft Horse pool float. I I'm super excited about all of this. It's going to be available at creekshop.com. You can pick it up later today. I'm actually wearing the t-shirt right here, right now. Love it, and I uh, hope you guys are excited for it because I know I am. So I don't know if you would consider number two a plot hole or not. I kind of do, and it revolves around Doggy, chapter four of book one, and the potion. So of course, we all know at the beginning of chapter four, Doggy seemingly drinks the potion. He turns into an infected, and then, well, that's the end of Doggy. That's the last time we see him. Now, I talk about this all the time on my live streams, but it's isn't it just a little bit weird that the police officer, who's been a police officer for a few years now, like he, he's good at this, who is also very much aware that he's in the middle of a giant apocalypse and is camping out in the forest with his, you know, cop buddy. Isn't it just a little bit weird that he drinks a random potion from a random person that seemingly comes and then immediately disappears and we have no idea who gave this potion to, to Doggy? Was it Mr. P that gave it to him? I, I have no idea. I just find it a little bit weird that, you know, anybody, much less a police officer that's been a police officer for quite a while, would just randomly drink a random drink that a random stranger handed to you. Of course, moving on to number three, that actually brings us to the school map. At the end of the school map, the player character actually passes out. He, he passes out and we wake up in the hospital, but it's never actually fully explained why he passes out. We just randomly pass out, wake up a few hours later in the hospital, and we're good to go, and then it never happens again in the entire story. Moving on to number four, this is actually one that I really want to answer to and it's miss p in the window of course if you go to chapter 9 the city map you can actually see miss p in the window right next to the safe place where all of our characters are the safe house she's clearly right there in the window however when book two came and we've been staying at the safe house for what would seemingly be months now miss p is never mentioned like you're telling me that the players never explored the building right next to them where miss p was like like in the span of months they never actually checked out the building right next to them I find that a little bit weird and hard to believe. And so in that case, where did Miss P go? Did she wander off? Did somebody take her? Maybe Mr. Stitchy took her? We don't know. No, I know you guys know all about number five, but I have to throw this in here because it's still one of the biggest mysteries in the Piggy universe, and that is inside the mall map. You know what it is. The note that says, don't trust the SI. Is this talking about don't trust the silver paw? Is it talking about the signal? I know Ant Antics thinks that this means don't trust the signal. I'm inclined to believe him on this one. I, we still don't know, though. It's not confirmed. Minitune has never mentioned it again. Maybe we'll figure it out later on in book two, but for now, it remains a mystery. Number six is actually, where is Mr. P? Because, of course, if you've got the true ending of book one of Piggy, you know that Mr. P actually survived. And the question right now is, where in the world did he go? Did he go up north with the military to work on a cure? Is he wandering the, the wastelands just looking for, for someone else? I mean, he lost all of his friends. He had nobody else, so I, nobody, nobody knows where Mr. Mr. P is. Hopefully we get an answer to that 
sometime soon. Now, number seven also has to do with the true ending. In the true ending, Mr. P says that whenever we passed out and he took us to the hospital back in chapter five and six, he actually found uh, traces of the infection inside of us. And if he found traces of the infection inside of us, how did he get there? Did he get there when we got attacked in chapter one? And if so, why didn't we turn into an infected? And if there is traces of the infection inside of us and we didn't turn into the infected, why is that? Are we immune? Is the player immune to the infection somehow? Or is something else going on here? Again, this is actually a pretty big plot hole that has not been answered so far. Now, number eight is one that I'm actually genuinely curious about, and that is in book two, chapter one, The Alleys. We meet a few new characters. Of course, we meet Rash Raccoon, we meet Willow Wolf, we meet Daisy uh, Donkey, and also Leo the Lion. Now, everybody that I mentioned there besides Leo the Lion has been accounted for. We know where they are or where they went or where they should be, but Leo the Lion has never been mentioned again in the entire story. Willow hasn't mentioned him. The player hasn't mentioned him. None of the other characters have mentioned him. Where is he? Is he still alive? Is he relevant to the story? Is he going to pop up in the future? Now, number nine, I'm throwing in here because I also would like an answer to this one, and this has to do with Willow's parents. Willow mentions that her parents got taken away 10 years ago. And of course, if that's the case, if Willow's parents did get arrested 10 years ago for thievery and burglary, which would explain why Willow and her brother have been on the run for 10 years, that would also make Willow's brother William at least 10 years old, wouldn't it? But anyway, the question is, where are her parents? I don't think you get, uh, I mean, you don't stay in jail for over 10 years for simple thievery, right? Maybe, may maybe not. And even if you did, wouldn't her parents be in the jail? So are her parents still alive? Did they escape during the apocalypse? Are they still out there? Are they dead? Are they not alive? Uh, Willow hasn't said. I'm actually curious what happened to Willow's parents because again, they're brought up, but they're never actually mentioned. Maybe we'll get an answer to this later on in book two. And then number 10, I think one of the questions that everybody is really curious about, what in the world happened to Rash Raccoon? Rash Raccoon was literally Willow Wolf's right-hand man in book uh, two, chapter one, the alleys map. He was a big player in TSP. Obviously, he meant a lot to Willow and they, well, he, he's not there anymore. He's not in TSP. We haven't seen him since. Willow hasn't mentioned him and we've seen no trace of him at all. Does that mean that he never escaped jail? Maybe he maybe he escaped jail at a different time during the infection than Willow did. Maybe they got split up somehow. Where in the world is Rash Raccoon? Is he going to pop up in the future? Uh, again, this is something we don't know, but I'd definitely like to know what happened to Mr. Rash Raccoon. Anyway, leave your theories for any of these questions down below in the comment section. I, I think the one that I'm most interested in is figuring out why in the world the player is it infected. If we have the infection inside of us, how are we not infected? Are we immune? What's going on there? I want to know the, I want to know this. Anyway, though, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you have not yet and keep using Star Code Real Creep when you're buying your Robux and Roblox Premium. It helps me out a lot and I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later today for a brand new live stream. Bye!